Hello, students and researchers. You're about to embark on a journey into the fascinating world of decision-making in large groups or organizations. Understanding these techniques is not merely an academic exercise. It is a vital skill that can enhance your research work and even your future career. The Delphi Technique and the Nominal Group Technique, which we'll be exploring today, are tools that can help you navigate complex decisions and build consensus in a diverse group of stakeholders. So whether you're a student working on a group project, a researcher looking to gather expert opinions, or simply a curious mind, these techniques have something to offer you. So buckle up as we dive into the world of decision-making techniques. The Delphi Technique begins with anonymous input from experts or stakeholders. Each participant independently provides their insights and opinions, which ensures the preservation of anonymity and reduces the risk of groupthink. The process is iterative, involving several rounds of feedback. In each round, the collective feedback from the previous round is reviewed and responded to by the participants. A crucial figure in this technique is the facilitator or moderator who guides the process, controls the information flow, and summarizes the responses. The facilitator often uses statistical analysis to examine and summarize group responses, which helps in identifying areas of agreement and disagreement. The Delphi technique shines when dealing with complex issues that require expert judgment. It is particularly effective in accommodating diverse perspectives and facilitating in-depth exploration of the topic at hand. Now let's contrast this with the nominal group technique. Unlike the Delphi technique, the nominal group technique involves direct interaction between participants. This method starts with a structured agenda where each participant generates ideas or solutions independently. These individual ideas are then shared with the group in a round robin fashion ensuring that everyone has an equal opportunity to contribute. This process eliminates the initial influence of dominant personalities, allowing every idea to be heard. After all ideas are shared, the group enters into a discussion phase. During this time, participants can ask questions, seek clarifications, and openly discuss the ideas presented. Participants then vote or rank the ideas to determine their priority. This process of discussion and voting brings clarity and consensus to the group. The nominal group technique is particularly effective when quick decision-making is required. It fosters active participation and direct communication, enhancing the efficiency of the decision-making process. Both techniques aim for consensus, yet their approaches are distinct. In conclusion, both the Delphi technique and the nominal group technique aim for consensus. The Delphi technique thrives on anonymity and multiple iterations, making it ideal for complex issues involving remote experts. On the flip side, the nominal group technique's structured face-to-face -face process promotes active participation, making it perfect for quick decision-making. Each method has its unique strengths and areas of application. Next time you're involved in a decision-making process, consider which technique might be best suited to your situation. So what does this mean for you as a student or researcher? Well, the Delphi technique with its anonymous and iterative approach can be incredibly useful in academic research. It's perfect when you need input from various experts spread across different locations or when you're dealing with complex issues that require multiple rounds of feedback. The nominal group technique, on the other hand, is great for group projects or team research. Its face-to-face -face structured nature encourages active participation and promotes quick decision-making, making it ideal for brainstorming sessions or when you need to reach a consensus swiftly. Remember, the art of decision-making is a valuable skill in any field. So whether you're conducting a study, writing a thesis, or collaborating on a research project, these techniques can help streamline your process. Happy researching!